Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to transfer packs from the Twitch launcher to MultiMC, okay? And in the process, give yourself a backup of it as well. And just to show you how some of the files uh, translate between the two, okay? I'm gonna show you an easy way to do it. So here I have this 1.7.10 pack, right? And it's based on a, uh, a, a mod pack release that I've altered, but I want to transfer it over to multi MC. Okay, so I've got you know 140 something mods or whatever. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to export this pack. Okay, now I have some a video on the channel about how to do this to back up mod packs, but we're going to use it as a transfer mechanism as well. So I'm going to export profile. So hit the gear icon here in Twitch. Obviously open the mod pack in Twitch and you know work on it or whatever and then hit the gear icon. All right, so it takes a little bit here. It's like processing the, the files to see which ones are online and all that kind of stuff and all that. All right, so here at the top and this is why I'm using this one as an example. It's gonna say this profile includes mod versions that are no longer available from Twitch. This pack may not be approved for public distribution. Now that's okay because what it's telling you is that if you submit it to Twitch, unless the mods that are not on Twitch are on the approved list, then they're not going to approve it to put it on CurseForge site. That's not what we're doing though, guys. We're just backing up. We're using it as a transfer to um, MultiMC. So it's fine, uh, but do be aware that if mods are gone from this pack later, like they get taken down from curse or whatever, then if you have just a backup of this and just only a backup of that, then they could break. But once we transfer it to multi MC, all the mods will be there. I'll show you all that stuff as we go to disc. So basically, generally you're just wanting the config and the mods in most packs, okay? But since I played this pack a little bit, I'm gonna to wanna to transfer data as well. Now, you could transfer saves if you've played a world that you wanna transfer. I haven't in this case. I don't have a world that I wanna transfer, uh, but you know that, that would just vary. But I do have these extra data folders. Uh, like these are from some of the add-ons for Thomcraft. So I'm gonna go save those. So generally you could pretty much just get every folder if you wanted and back it up wouldn't hurt anything maybe you don't know enough about structures of mod packs to make decisions on what you want you know you're probably not going to want crash reports data you're going to want you know maybe you just select it all and don't even worry about it it wouldn't hurt anything so i'm going to go through and you know i don't want logs uh, i don't have resource packs I want scripts for sure. Uh, server resource packs don't have any structures I want. So I'm just gonna go through and select uh, some of this stuff, okay? So I'll just go through and get most everything. Uh, and, you know, if you've set options uh, in, in game, you know, screen resolutions and a field of view and stuff like that, you could save all that. All right, so I've got what I need and I'm ready. So I'm gonna export it now. All right, so it gives you the option to give it a name. That's a duplicate that I've made, so it has that underscore one. And I'm gonna just, you know, rename it to the Great Scott Bomb Pack, for instance. All right, then I'm gonna export it. It'll go through, it'll do it pretty quick. Building a mod list, giving me a mod list file, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we'll let it do it, and it'll be out in our disk in our curse folder under export. Let me let it finish. There you go. Okay, so that's here on your disk. Again, it's under Curse uh, Minecraft e Export. Curse Minecraft Export is where it goes. Okay, so here is our pack right here. So we can look inside of it. So it's a zip archive now. I can open that zip archive and I can open it up and I can look at what's inside of it. So like with most mod packs, it has a manifest.json a mod list.html and then an overrides folder. Now you can see in the overrides folder, all of those uh, stuff that I've selected is in here. So, you know, you go through and everything you look. And so the mods that couldn't get added, okay, they're in here. The, uh, the, the 
mods that aren't on CurseForge go into this folder. They get copied here. So I have all these extra ones that aren't on CurseForge, right? But they're safe. They got copied. And uh, the mod list here will show you the list of mods and then links to them on CurseForge. Okay. So that's good to know. Um, I believe even the ones, or, or it's everything but the ones in the overrides folder. The ones in the overrides folder are not on that list because they don't have CurseForge links. Okay, so you know if I look at Forge Emits, for instance, let's just look at that real quick. Uh, it would not be on this list. These aren't in alphabetical order. They're just kind of in a order. But anyway, not, not important, but they wouldn't be on that list. So there's all of our files good to go. Uh, just keep in mind that because uh, some of these files could disappear from Curse at some point, like super long-term backup, uh, you're depending upon CurseForge having some measure of these files. But it's only 19 megs, okay, in total. Now, of course, that a very, uh, what can really start to get big at these is your world saves depending on your world saves. All right, but let's go to uh, MultiMC now. All right, so here I have MultiMC. I have an instance that has Domcraft stuff in it, right? All right, so I just want to transfer that over. So I'm just gonna take this guy. Uh, let me actually see that because I'm gonna drag it into a group and I'll take it and just drag it into the window here. Um, I need to, in Mac, be sure I drag it by the icon, not the name. And there it'll go, it'll offer to import it. All right, so that's fine. I'll accept the name and everything, and I'll import it. And so it'll go through it, it'll act like a mod pack that you've downloaded online. It'll go through and pull everything from CurseForge that it can, and then copy over all of the other extra stuff that's in the mod pack. All those files, all the extra mods and everything will be just copied, okay? except all the mods now will be pulled down so there it is it imported let's go ahead and center that now gave it a curse forge icon so uh, if i edit instance now under the loader mods i'll see there's all the mods okay and then if i view the mods folder here the bottom i'll see that all the mods now are out on disk okay so that's a good way for the long-term backup you've got all the mods here if you wanted to do that right okay so you know you'll want to obviously launch to be sure everything works i know that it does uh, but it gives you the forge version and everything needed to set up uh, again we'll just go out and look at the folder on disk so if i go to the minecraft folder here then i can see that all of those files that came are in here all right so all my configs everything is already copied across so that's a, that's excellent guys so i've basically now just exported this pack and out to multi mc now i could play it totally in multi mc as if i want and i also have this uh zip backup on disk that i could choose to keep or, or whatever because i could import this back into twitch obviously or I could import this into MultiMC, or I could import it even into something like Mod Pack Manager as well. So pretty useful, uh, pretty flexible, but a very quick way for you to move your pack from Twitch to MultiMC. Hope that's helpful to you. This is Scott Waddle. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.